Hello everyone. Let's see if we can balance this equation, this chemical equation with H2 dihydrogen, O2 dioxygen, and H2O at the end here, which is water. I also like to do this visually by including the molecules, H2, O2, and in the end we get H2O. On the left side and the right side, we're going to have the same elements. And now we're just going to count them up because maybe we'll be lucky and it's balanced already. On the left, two hydrogen, one, two. Also, two oxygen, one, two. And on the water side, the yield side, we have two hydrogen, but only one oxygen. At this point, we need to see what can we do to this right side of the equation to help us balance out those oxygens. Well, here's what we can do. Why don't we double the amount of water. So when we do that, we'll put the two up here because we're showing two molecules down here and we need to recount. Now our oxygens are balanced. See, two and two. But we have jumped up to four hydrogen on the right. But now on the left, we are unbalanced in the hydrogens. What could we do? Well, we could double the amount of hydrogen we're putting into the equation. And by doing that, we'll double our molecules visually too. 2H2 means two molecules of H2. And when we count up each hydrogen atom, we get to four. And just like that, we have a balanced equation. 2H2 plus O2 is going to give us two molecules of water.